nothing like waking up in the morning with a nosebleed and this. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> I'm down my first roll. And yes, just ignore me. I've just washed my face and I've somehow broke my nose in the meantime. <laughs> but let's forget about that, ladies and gentlemen, because I am going on a ride. I know you guys have been um, saying to me, Tom, if you're going stir crazy inside, get outside. You're allowed to go outside once a day for exercise. Um, we look to like two people, but you've got to keep your social distancing of like six feet apart from each other. And I'm like, you know what? Perfect exercise, biking. But I'm not going alone. We've got a friend. That's right. We're on our way to go meet up with Carl himself. And this is why during this chaos, I'm glad I have an electric bike. Ain't nobody got time to be fit and run up the hills. I'm riding up them with electricity. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Honey, I'm home. I feel like I've not seen them in for absolutely ages. I'm not quite sure how many days it's been. Maybe a week. Oh, it'll be a week tomorrow since I've seen them. Hello. Keeping my distance. Carl. Stay away. <laughs> Whoa, that's just a good. Th that's a great start. Imagine just choking. Stop it. Stop it. Alice! Stop! It's been so long! It's been nearly a week. <laughs> oh my god, you can all go, go F yourselves. So, how's life been? Pretty dandy. We had a two hour walk yesterday. Uh, isolating yourself, I hope. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the chaos of everyone going on hikes. Carl, how's it been? How's it been surviving with Alice for a week? She's all right yesterday. Right? Last two days have been good. Was you seem right? really confident and you seem like you hate life. No, you seem like all you want to do is play Call of Duty. Yeah. What, you got out of bed at 8 o'clock in the morning to play Call of Duty and you went... <laughs> What's the understanding? I don't have to do what she says. <laughs> what she... Don't Why can't I speak to the cat? I don't know why you've got corona. What? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> wow. Love coming around this household. All right. I want you to keep this six foot discipline, boy. Six foot? Two meters. How many feet in six? How many foot in six? Well, you imagine two <laughs> how many feet in two meters? Hey, Terry, how many feet in two meters? Get right back. Two meters is three point two eight feet. Nah. Let's stay six foot away. <laughs> Let's stay this distance away. Alright. Don't like you anyway. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, close your eyes. That's life without you, bro. Treat your eyes. Open them. You're still up. <laughs> wow. Jesus. I hope you've missed him. I hope you've missed him, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, you see, this is why I love an electric bike. Hills aren't a problem, and you can just enjoy the ride where we've only just set off out of Carl's house, and he's going to be absolutely exhausted. Uh, are you tired? No. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> yeah, nothing beats an e-bike, man. Well, you could say being physically fit, yeah, there's that, but nothing beats an e-bike. Good morning. And you know, if things do get worse, I'll just bring my Defender, I'll grab that boat, Ruby Tuesday, and I'll go sailing away from the Welsh Sea. You are. You can do it! Bite this chicken head off! Who do we appreciate? K-A-R-L. <laughs> Keep her going. Come and have a look at these brambles and tell me how much you charge to jump in them. Because we were just talking about how jackass do stupid things and stuff like that, and like wild boys. But the other one, Crazy Sanchez. But, oh yeah, Crazy, Dirty Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. Mate, look at the size of these bramble thorns. If you jumped in that, mate, like, and I mean from the wall into it, how much would you have to get paid to do that? I'm thinking, what's the minimum? What is the minimum? I think maybe 10 grand I'd have to do to do that. 10 grand? Yeah, what do you reckon? Look at the size of them, bro. Are you allowed to wear them? No, you've got to wear what you're wearing now. It's really going to work. Because I was going to say, like, a grand just doesn't cut it, does it? 
Because think, once you get in it, you'd do it for a grand. Yeah. I'll give you a grand. But what I'd want, I'll give you a grand. What I'd want in preparation though is a big piece of rope to jump in back. No, no, you have to climb out. You have to climb out. <laughs> Talking about a nice little ride out to the country. Look at that view, man. Look at that view. Flipping out, not a bad place to live here. Not a bad place at all. That is gorgeous. been a bit more of a smoother ride if I would have had my uh, suspension not fully tight but hey we survived but right I went down the thing called a black hole yeah that's what it's called and Carl's taking the scenic route so I'm gonna go meet up with him via the dangerous route <laughs> and that's the end of the dangerous route <laughs> now I can't tell whether they're ahead of me or behind me. But either way, I'm going. Carl to come out from up there where I just went down but I'm seeing no signs of him don't want to be all by myself it's quite a few walkers out and stuff like that so it's kind of hard on these single trails to get past people but we're getting there okay so still actually no idea where Carl is so I'm gonna ride around hope I bump into him and if I don't we just enjoy the ride Oh my god, nature, why are you going to be so nice? Oh, look at all the daffodils blooming. It's so pretty, oh my god. Hey, it's actually gorgeous. I feel like I need to do this like every day. Just go for a ride, get outside, check out the world. Look at that, beautiful cottage. It's so nice. Not as nice as this. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Didn't see you there. <sighs> wow, dude, the wildlife. Hello, ah. it's okay. Look at them, the wild. Are they like the reeds? Uh -huh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't want no trouble. Okay, just gonna cross over, and mind my own business. Uh -huh. Not trying to scare you off. You can stay sunbathing. It's okay. Next time, I'll bring seed, okay? Now listen here, I'm not trying to get you to jump into the water or anything, I'm just trying to move you out the way. So if you could shift your arses, it's okay. Come on then, it's all right, it's okay. Come on, come on now, come on now, come on, get up now. Come on now, come on now. That's it, now you don't have to go in. Okay, looks like you're all doing it. Whoa, look how waterproof they are. Whoa, that's cool. Mother nature is just blooming right now, isn't she? Look at the geese over there. Mate, look, look, can I get, wait. Is this gonna be a trap? Are you sinking mud? Kind of, but we're okay. Look at the colour of that dock. Look at it. It's gorgeous. I'm such an old man right now, but look, there's a swan nesting over there. Welcome to Nature Watch with me, Tom Cassell. Here we are 
in the wild looking for a Carl. He's a bearded man. He's a bit of an idiot, but we love him. Tune in soon where we may have located him. Mate, look how beautiful that duck is. That's the one I tried to film that swam off over there. The look at it. Look at the colours on it. It almost looks fake. It's official. Other than looking like a Teletubby, I've turned into an old man. I've come out to see the ducks. Wow. And what do you call this, eh? Are you been looking at... Oh! oh! Yeah, you're not even wearing any merch, little slug. So, uh, what time do you call this? <laughs> hey, it's nice. It's now we've opened it all. Nature's loving this. Oh, so nice, so clean. Much wow. Oh, that's nice. Whoa, look at that. You love shit like that. Bolton Towers, that it's just, yeah, yeah, the, the haunted tree. Yeah. That's just so picturesque, isn't it? That is so nice. Rips out the ground, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, wow. No way. No. I, mate, I was like, where's the path go? I was like, this way? Under that little branch. Do you reckon you and me could move it? No. <laughs> Mate, this is nice, isn't it, Carl? This is what it's about, it's nice. I don't to come down here. Mate, if we keep our distance, stay safe and all that sort of stuff, I'm down to keep doing stuff like this. Because it's so nice. In no one's way, not interacting with any other people. Just absolutely loving it. It's so beautiful. Oh. Very nice. And this is where an electric bike comes into play. Yeah! <laughs> I love hills. Bye! <laughs> go on, go fast. No, that way. Go on, Carl, you can do it! <laughs> Into there. Whee! <laughs> That'd be quite fun. Hey, yes, where are you going, man? Get a stick. Get a stick? Eh? Hey. Look at that. Mate. Madness. I used to think a troll lived in there. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's so lovely. This place as well. Oh, mate. I, I know I've shown you this on the vlogs already. But I'm gonna ride down here dead quick because there is a lovely house that I have to show you. It's one of the most beautiful things ever. They have like festivals and stuff here, which is pretty cool. But look at this nice little pond. But I have to show you this house. Hello, geese, minding your own business, eh? Yeah, look at this here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's like, whoa, look at that heron. Wow. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, look at this cute little pond in your front garden. Cute little pond. And then look at that. What a house. What an actual house. It's beautiful. And I turn around. Uh, that is so nice. Look at it. It's like some out of Lord of the Rings. It's beautiful. Look at that for a front garden. Your own little private pond. Mate. Well nice. Hello, Mr. Duck. Now that's cool. I showed that last time. Look at that. A little uh, hummingbird cut out of the log. Beautiful. Mate, I, what I'd do to own this land here. Oh my God, that'd be, that'd be, this would be gold. Look at all this for playing. Imagine having kids. Imagine having kids yourself. Oh, sorry, geese. Sorry, you're okay. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Imagine having kids and just letting them play in trees like that. That'd be so amazing. Hosting little festivals here. That'd be so wicked. Oh, Carl, you look so picturesque. Go on, faster. Faster. 
Go on, Kat. Go on, Ned. Go on, Ned. Oh, yeah, man. What a beautiful guy. <laughs> Hi, ducks. Oh, this is the new bridge they've built. Oh, this is very nice. Ooh, suits you, sir. Where's he gone? Slow down, I say. Hey, hey, mate, slow down. Um, what on earth am I looking at over there? What? I might have to switch to my phone to film this. I'm gonna to have to assume that it's something to do with like a scout or something like that. That's gotta be like a scout camp, right? Because that is a pretty organized camp. Yeah. Oh, if that was paintball and that'd be sick, but I doubt it. Yeah. Mate, that's well cool. Mate, as a kid, that is something I would build, just saying. This is where I used to come as a kid. Like, not only when, one, I couldn't walk, I used to be in like my mum and dad's pram, being pushed around. But two, there was a kid where I used to come like doing a little bit of fishing. And then, you know what? When I'm older and I've got kids, this is where I'll bring them. But look how mad that is, by the way. Look, how, how the water level's gone down so much for some reason that you can see where that like, well, it looks like a little island. <laughs> That's well cool. That looks really cool. That looks like something out of like a Minecraft generation or something. God, I haven't been this way in forever. Is the water too low to jump in now? Uh, I don't know. Whoa. Yeah, I re I've never jumped in off it, but I remember seeing pictures of people doing it. Whoa. Away from all the current. Yeah, that's sick. Wow. You usually have a tree swing. <laughs> you have a tree swing on there, you swing out and then that go into Whoa, the Whoa, that's sick. Wow. Mate, I so want to jump in that right now. Oh my god. I'll tell you something right now. If I knew that was deep enough, I'd be very tempted to jump into that. That genuinely just looks so, so tempting. I bet it'd be freezing cold, but god, it looks tempting. Oh, what I'd do <laughs> for one of these right now. Purple pakora, Indian food. Oh, a curry. Sounds absolutely gorgeous right now. It won't be long, you'll be open again, and I'll be eating here. I miss you. I don't even know if they're doing deliveries, I wish they were. Well, look at us now, little canal riders. Ooh, canal riders. Hi, right, mate. Yeah, man. Wow, wow, bye, friends. <laughs> bye, friends, yeah. Dude, at one of these days, I'm gonna be on a bike ride, not on the electric bike, and I'm just gonna go straight into a canal. That's all I want to do, just go <laughs> Like, look at this now. How fun would that be? Straight off the edge, skadoosh, straight into the wall. <laughs> well, that is some news. Coronavirus Boris Johnson tests positive for COVID-19. Oh my God. Whoa, I have no idea where I am right now, but that looks like a fun potential paintball factory. Are you still open for business? If not, can I borrow you? <laughs> wow, that is a mega build, look at that. Christ, that is gorgeous. My dream factory. It like got burnt down, but they're gonna turn it into apartments. I'd love to turn that into like, live on the top floor, some apartments, paintball arena, go-kart area. That'd be sick. But, alas, it would cost too much money. Keeping my social distancing and all that, this is where Scott lives. Scott! Scott, you b Is he in? Well, I was going to say, is he in? He, can't, he shouldn't really be out. But then again, he could be going for a walk or something. Two foot away. Yeah, two foot. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you staying insane? I am. Please tell me I interrupted you playing Call of Duty. <laughs> well, I love you. Me and Carl are on a bike ride, keeping our distance. And I was like, I can say hello to him now. Yeah. But bye. Right, I'm going. Seeing as though I'm doing a day of distancing, let's see where he is. Grandad, open the door. Hey, mate. Yeah, I'm not, I'm keeping my distance from you. I'm not coming in. All right. You okay? Yeah. Just thought I'd see how you are. Yeah, I'm all right. You okay for food and everything? Yeah. Nice, mate. Plenty of food. 
You've been sitting out in the sun? No. Why? You'll be alright on your step as long as you're not near people. Pro uh, probably, maybe. Boris Johnson's got it now, hasn't he? Who's Boris Johnson? Yeah, Boris Johnson just... Yeah, he just got announced he's got it. Yeah, Shows we'll be all right. It, anyone can get it. Yeah, anyone can get it. That's why you got to stay indoors, you. You can stay, you can sit on your step in the sun, but you just don't want to be surrounded by people, okay? Yeah. Don't be going getting newspapers. Yeah. We heard you left the house the other day. You're not supposed to be doing that. If you need anything, you let us know. Yeah, if you need anything, a newspaper or whatever, let us know, we'll get it for you, okay? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Brilliant. Okay. It's nice to see you, mate. You are looking okay. But make sure you get in your garden, get a bit of gardening done. No, no. It's too far behind. Right, I'll, I'll get that sorted. Yeah, I can tell it's overgrown, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we'll get it taken care of, mate. Grass is about eight inches high. <laughs> <laughs> A whole eight inches. Right. Well, you could. Hey, I believe you could fix it. Go. Make, make it your project. Get out in the back. Do a bit of weeding. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> right. We'll let you go, Granddad. All right. No. Na nice to see you. <laughs> Take care of yourself. All right. Bye, Granddad. Oh. I've rode around this way because apparently there's like big queues to get into the little Tesco. Cause I could do with picking up some milk and seeing like if there's any food supplies there, but as I'm looking right now, I think I see one person stood outside it, but it looks like a Tesco worker. So if I can go straight in, we're onto a win. Oh, no, there's people queuing. Only a few though. Oh, that's not bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. And people are keeping their distances from each other. Out of, out of all the essentials, I thought people would be going to the shop for you. Just walked out with four WKD. <laughs> Everyone's panicking over milk. Man, hit, man. <laughs> Everyone's panicking over milk and bread and stuff. And he just wants that with four My guy's walking around with boy with yeah, it's late. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> I'm getting a pack of boy wicked for the road. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what a madden though. Look at this. Queuing outside, distance apart just to go in and get a shop done. Crazy. But you've got to do what you've got to do. I don't even I don't even know what I need. And the thing is, Carl, if you go past what you want in, you have to come back out and queue again. You can't go back on yourself. Mate, I feel like I'm in like a movie. Look at this. You're not allowed that distance within each other and you have to follow the lines. All right, I don't even know what I want. Actually, I do. I'm doing like my little, uh, my little shop. Oh, it's such just some bacon. Um, there's a good amount of stuff left. I am dashing my face. Mate, this is mad. Carl, look at it. We've got to stay within the distance between each other. We've got to, and you've got to follow the arrows on the floor. I'm, I'm like, this. there's no going back. I'm like, what do I need? Right, food, fruit, good. Well, yeah. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh no, what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> well, this social distancing experiment's going great. <laughs> what are you doing? Social distancing. Uh, <laughs> there's people in the story who don't have a clue what's going on. They think people are fighting over a loaf or something. <laughs> Mate, this is mad. Cal, you stop harassing the Tesco staff. All right? <laughs> key workers, man, key workers. Well, I got me stuff that I need. Good job you've got an e-bike. Yes, good job I got an electric bike, mate. I'll be bollocks otherwise. Kind of forgot that I was on a bike, not gonna lie. But, hey, good ride, mate. Good ride. Let's go. On the road again. Off we go. I can't believe it's a Friday, man. It feels like a Sunday. Wow, that thing sounds like it's about to fall apart. Where are you going? Are oh, you going a different? Yeah, yeah, you're going a different way. Hey, well, it's a pleasure riding with you, bro. Well, you're always welcome, mate. I'll always invite you. It's up to you whether you accept. Love you, man. All right, bro. Take care.
Hey, bro, close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you crashed the bike. I know. <laughs> See you later, dude. I love you. See you in a bit. Oh, what a nice ride out. Time to get all this home safe and sound. And just like that, home sweet home. I would, whilst I had this time, uh, take down those Christmas lights, but I don't actually have a ladder to get up there. So it would be quite the dangerous feat of me climbing up there. But something that's kind of crazy is that it's currently a Friday. And to me, it feels like a Sunday. I don't know why, it just does. I don't get it. But nonetheless, I am home sweet home. Look at that. I've done my shop. Sweet. And just like that, home sweet home. Now you can't make this up. Whilst I was out on my ride, I actually got a missed call of keg watch. If you guys don't know, I've had these kegs at the back of my garden I've been trying to get rid of for ages. And they've said to me that they can't come and meet me to collect them. But if I put them on my front port, like front door, they'll drive by and a, and a delivery man will pick them up. So hopefully I can get that organized for next week and finally be done with the kegs. But we're home. We are home sweet home. Awesome little ride. Nice just to get out and about but more than anything be socializing with with a, with a friend um again keeping my distance keeping my distance from anyone else that we saw on the trails or anything like that you know just like pulling over to one side letting them pass and all that just really nice but that tesco scenario that was a weird one like i was aware that they were introducing rules you know uh, like like one person one person come in one person goes out sort of thing that in out system but when you get inside the the space and you're supposed to stay from each other as well that's, that's mad it makes so much sense but they were saying like they're really struggling with old people because they're not just they're not paying attention into the rules and they try and just walk in the store then when they're in the store they're not following like there's like you know like a track like follow this road and follow that and follow that like a circuit to follow and they're just like going wherever they want and all that sort of stuff and when they're not supposed to be walking but like say you forgot milk like you're supposed to like go all the way around the store and back again sort of thing i think that's the process i don't think you have to queue up all over again you just have to restart the loop but they're just like walking back going past people and it's like you're doing the whole thing of like crossing getting close to people which you're not supposed to be doing so they said that everyone else seems to understand it except old people but yeah nice to see them putting those things in place to make sure everyone can get what they need in this chaos time that we're living in so yeah, a bit of a Madden, but awesome ride. Good fun. All good fun, but then there is that news that Boris Johnson has indeed got the coronavirus. That is, that is just madness, isn't it? You know, like all the, all, the, all the rules and everything of staying distance away from people, and it just shows. Like the one guy handing out the rules is now the one guy who's got it. <sighs> Mate, they, when, some, when people think this is going to be done and dusted in the next two weeks, it's like... I think you can think again. This is gonna go on for months, this. Oh, okay. So this is not a good scenario we're in, Steve. I don't know how this has happened, but it has. Stephen Montgomery Cassell. I don't know why, I've just decided his middle name is Montgomery. Now listen here, you. We're gonna need this as a backup plan because Steve's bulb has gone. Now I'm gonna hope for the best. What the hell? Wait, I don't understand that. It look, that looks like it's on the outside. So. Ignore that cough. Now, I'm hoping that if I have got that one there, is this the same kind of ball? Because if it is, we're okay. And the reason why I'm hoping this is the right ball is because Steve's uh, supplier, AKA his sponsor, Swell UK, are currently closed at the moment. Yes. Yes! So I was going to say, Steve, we were almost in a predicament, lad. We were in a predicament of you not having a bulb, therefore not having heat. And guess what? I fixed it. Stephen Montgomery Cassell. <laughs> what a name. All right, there's problem solved. Will you stop breaking this plant? It was such a nice put together plant at first. And you've just, you've absolutely shagged it. I don't know why you've done that. But is everything okay? Some fine fresh H2O to your face, Stephen Sir Montgomery Cassell. I'm going to pour that in. There you go. Some nice fresh water for you. Yes, very nice, very nice, very nice. Good sir, can I offer you a fine snack? I can see your face moving already because you know this tub means the good good. All right, Stephen, would you like yourself one fine... Does it say what it is? Would you like yourself a wax worm? If you would like it, you're going to have to come and get it. I can see you staring at it. Now come and get it. Okay, I'll put it there a little bit, just so you can actually see what it is. Yeah, oh yeah. Come on. Good boy. It was a good boy. Now, there's nothing else in my hand. No. It's gone. Are you going to eat your meal now? Now, for your main course, 
we're gonna eat some crickets. Now get your mouth in there and eat. Can you jump out? Right, I want you to munch that. Ah, that was me. Don't eat me. Eat, right, right, come here. Yeah, yeah. Eat this. Good boy. <laughs> oh, crushed its head. I'm so sorry. Apologies. That doesn't matter. He's going to die now anyway. Right, would you like one more? Ah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I'm almost flying. Great. Now for your third and final one. I want you to say please. Say it. Come on now. Beautiful. <laughs> Who's a good little dragon? Or a fat dragon, to be fair, I'm just saying. Now, when I go to the mailbox, I don't really expect to open it up and see that staring at me straight away, which is a PO Box letter from... I'm actually not too sure who it's from because it doesn't actually say on it, but it says it's come from Deutschland. Hi Tom, I've been watching your videos since I was nine. I'm now 16. I saw someone else sent you a postcard, so I thought I'd do the same. I got a coat of, arm, coat of arms tea for Christmas. Unfortunately, I didn't get a signed postcard. Oh, also, I decided to get the book still out of artists because of your wallpaper in your office. I love it. Hopefully one day uh, you could sign it if I met you. Uh, if, I, if I visit Manchester regularly, I just never seem to be in the same place as you at the same time. Oh, well, thank you, random person from Deutschland. Uh, I've got your postcard. I just don't know who it's from. These pictures are getting weirder and weirder. Someone sent me a random llama, and this one's from Eaton saying, Hi, seven centimeter Cassell. <laughs> I hope you and the fam are having a wonderful day and that you're getting shit done. Mm, I think he sent this before the coronavirus pandemic. But here is a £20 gift card to spend on any restaurant pictured from me to you. Have a great, wonderful day from Eaton Roberts. Eaton, thank you, mate. You didn't have to do that at all. And specifically, thank you for reminding me that you are a bogus gas man and you're here to ransack my house. Now, as the sun is setting on this very beautiful day, for heck, it looks like a nuke's gone off over the Christ. There we go, managed to get it to focus a little bit better. I have another letter here from Tracy saying, to Tom, I've been watching your vlog for a few years now. Uh, your videos just pick me up when I'm feeling at my lowest. A few questions, lol. Uh, one, what happened to the cats? That's a great question to answer off. When I broke up with my last relationship, I always set the rule of when we got, because we got cats together, I always made the rule that once we broke up, you would take the cat. So Lydia has the cats at her house. So there you go. That's where the cats are. If people ask me, do I miss them? And it's like, yeah, of course I miss them. Like I was very attached to them. But at the same time, it's just like, I know. Oh, sorry. I've got a text message on my phone. I know it's for the best because just like me and the cats, as much as I love them, we really didn't get along in the essence of they were just absolutely trashing my house. As much as we tried to train them and all that sort of stuff, they just kept pooping and ruining everything and pissing on my bed, pissing on my pillows. Like they kept weeing all over my sofa and pooping all over my sofa, even though they were trained and knew not to. It was just a bit of a nightmare. So in the end, it ended up being for the best. Second question is, would you get another animal? Or what would it be? That answer would be a chameleon, 100%. But chameleons take a lot of looking after. Um, and because of like me doing a lot of traveling and stuff like that, it's not the smartest. A bearded dragon can actually technically go like a week without food. Because if you think about it, they're out in the wild. They're not going to find food every day at a set time. But I do feed Steve daily and that's why he's a fat you're supposed to feed him every like couple of days or something when i spoke to like professionals about it but steve's used to his diet so we keep him on it the third one is what is the best place you've traveled to um i think canada was the best place i've ever been but then it got replaced with iceland because iceland was just so damn good this is like a little q and a i like it uh but this letter got sent into my p.o box so thanks for these tracy um number four is what's your favorite animal bearded dragon obviously steve but if i had to actually be honest um a lion. I think a lion is just, you know, just lazy, sits around all day and just king of the jungle. Love it. Number five is, what's your favourite colour? Favourite colour is, hmm, I think, grey. <laughs> grey, 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 dark colours. Now, mainly, if I had to pick an actual colour colour, I'd go blue. Question six, plans for your house, e.g. project. It was the extension, but everything's completely put on pause due to the coronavirus situation. So that's a bit of a pause. And number seven, your dream car. Well, all I'm gonna say is I think this light was sent a little long, little while ago because in the vlogs, I've recently kept you updated with the project of the house and my dream car. And my dream car is very much sat on my drive waiting to be driven. And Tracy, if you're wondering why I'm not driving it, it's because of the situation with the coronavirus, we're not supposed to be going outdoors and all that sort of stuff. And something that I spoke about is, um, as much as I'm keeping myself isolated in the car, um, if I was to break down or get in a crash or anything like that, then emergency services would have to like come and help me and get involved and I'm wasting their time. So it's best to not even bother. But Tracy, thank you very much for the questions as, why is it not focusing? There we go, as we enjoy this sunset together.
It's like a little romantic Q&A date. But yeah, another day coming to a close in quarantine. Am I going stir crazy yet? No, I'm actually enjoying it. I, I like, I like, you know, having time to focus on things and like getting stuff done around the house. I would, and this is like the most annoying thing, I would love to be moving all of this stuff and organizing uh, my bathroom in here. Like, see how it's just filled with junk? I'd love to be organizing it all into this room. But this truly is the bedroom that will never be finished because as much as the bedroom is nearly done, the TV that we went to install ended up being smashed. So that's getting replaced, I think, next week. So that's a winner moving forward. But this headboard section all needs to come down because it's got the drill holes that they tried covering up in it and just looked like crap. So they're removing that. But to take that out, they have to take all the lights, the headboards off, the glass out, everything to replace it. And then once that's done, it's done. But as everyone pointed out in the vlogs, this whole COVID-19 thing pushes the bedroom back even more. So the bedroom was at five months uh, and counting, but I think we've just ticked over to this bedroom has been being worked on for six months how crazy is that a job that should have taken five days after you know like organization planning and execution like from start to finish monday to friday should have been finished has taken six months crazy and then there's the thing who knows how long the covid virus situation is going to take uh because the bedroom guys won't come in and finish it until you know this is all done and dusted which i totally understand and get which could be weeks or months so ladies and gentlemen we may be looking at a bedroom 12 months later it is finally finished but i don't know i'm just over it i really am as much as i like i love the look of it and stuff like that it's just you know that energy and that passion that you have for something that you waited like so long to get like from the moment of me saying yeah, let's go for it. You know, like you were signing the paperwork and then waiting for the work to start and then for it to drag on and drag on and drag on. It's just like, I just, I'm just over it. Like it's, it's been spoiled for me, unfortunately. It's, you know, a bit disappointing, but I understand where we start, where we stand with it now in the essence of there's not much we can do. They can't finish the job because of the virus situation and it is what it is. I'll happily wait. I've waited six months. I can wait a bit longer, I guess. And just like that, the sun has gone down. Coronavirus isolation day number six, almost completed. I'm here ransacking the bar right now. Uh, wait, what's that? I've got news correspondence coming in from Blame Deck. Blame Deck, where are you? What are you doing? Hi, I am Blame Deck and we're here outside Tesco. Coronavirus, and this is my professional microphone. But as you can see, we have people walking indoors. Everyone's wearing masks. I got my special gloves. And let me show you what it's like on the shelf. So everyone in Tesco and the supermarkets doing a good job. Good job from miners. This is what I'm going to have for my dinner. Let's go. You're not allowed to walk further than two meters apart. And um, yeah, the supermarket's pretty stocked. But health and safety is key. All right, Tom. Here's some drone footage of what London looked like tonight. And I'll see you later. I just want to say thanks to Deck in the in the London quarantine zone for his amazing contribution to the Laugh Tom vlog. You're a legend. Reporting in live, Deck, how are you doing? I'm really good, I'm eating a taco. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now, I'm not quite sure where I left this vlog, but I do need to outro it. I will say I ended up drinking a lot of alcohol whilst FaceTiming Deck last night. So I woke up this morning with everything being a bit of a blur. So hence the hangover eyeballs I have right now. But I'm currently live streaming on Twitch. Bloody hell, I don't know what's going on on that screen, but I'm currently live streaming on Twitch. Everyone's using the soap emotes because you need to wash your hands. Shout out to these legends so far for subscribing. But I'm going to try a little different outro. I'm going to let my Twitch chat do the outro. And this is where I'm trusting my Twitch chat to do this properly. Everyone's saying, look at that. 
Thank you very much for watching. This, this is this is fun. I'm trying to get them to do the whole outro, but you know it can only work to a certain degree. Look, look, look here we go. The next line. Be sure to leave a like rating. <laughs> Did they get it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and ding dong that bell. This is like herding cats. Is that is that is that the saying? Yeah, herding cats. This is like herding cats trying to do this. But thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like rating. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and ding dong that bell. And now the next thing I need you to say is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next daily vlog. Let's let's see if they're capable of doing this. Come on. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at... Man, nah, that person knows. I didn't even tell them. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. <laughs> All right. Now, everyone. And <laughs> and now everyone say, Asadios. And this is where I'll take over. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, right? Don't forget to ding dong that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. And until next time, Asadios. Look at everyone in the chat just absolutely spamming it. This is thousands of people around the world saying Sadios right now. I love it. Who's the one person who can't be a pleb? I'll ban your ass. Well, thanks for watching.